Hey, what's up guys? Dibble Games here. Uh, I'm going to do something new here guys. I've had some questions about how I do my recording. So I figured I'd kind of show you how I do it here. It's going to be kind of rough because I don't really have a script or I haven't really thought this through. I'm just going to kind of show you the process that I do to get my videos onto YouTube. Um, there's multiple different ways you can do this, but I found this to be the easiest for me. Uh, hopefully, maybe it'll work for you, I don't know. Um, so let's say you do want to start putting gameplay footage or your recordings on, let's say, Twitch TV. We'll show you how we're going to do that, or at least how I do that. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to download something called XSplit. Um, it costs, actually how much does this thing cost? It looks like it's only $15. And there's like a monthly fee, I think of $7, uh, if I remember correctly. But this thing is going to allow you to actually capture video footage from your monitor. Um, it does a whole bunch of other stuff too. Like this is a really super easy product. Like you don't have to think much about some of the more hardcore details of recording. Uh, it takes care of like encoding and stuff like that for you, which if you don't know what that means, then you're lucky because encoding is kind of a pain in the ass, especially if you don't know anything about it. Um, this takes care of all that for you. Uh, it also allows you to push your stuff directly to Twitch. So that's what we're going to do here for this first part of the tutorial. Um, so let's see, let's show you actually Twitch right now. So here she be. This is, uh, not Twitch, I'm sorry, XSplit. Um, when you download XSplit, open it up, you're going to see something like this here. Uh, this is your stage. This stage is what people see, so you can set the dimensions and whatnot on this. And this is what people are going to see. You can add things to it too, like um, if you wanted to, you can add a screen region onto here. So let's go add it, some of this from my other monitor. There it is right there. I can move it around, place it wherever I want to. Uh, if I'm over there, you can see it there. Like you can just add stuff on top of the stage. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and remove this though. We don't want this on here. Oops. Just go to remove. Okay. Oh, uh, you can also add a camera, which I will show you in a minute here. Uh, you can add a game. Like if you're playing a game, you just add, click add game and then click on the game in that window there. Like I'm not playing a game now, so you won't see one. But like if I was playing Smite, it'd show up here. And as soon as I click that, that screen would show up here, which is pretty cool. Um, there's also different scenes, which I won't go into that. Um, this is exploits. So this, this is pretty much everything you need to get started. Um, if you have, if you want to push things to Twitch, like what we're going to do now, um, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to need a Twitch account, obviously. Um, once your account's set up, like getting stuff from XSplit to Twitch is actually pretty simple. Uh, I'm not going to show you my key in here, but you'd go to settings, and in there there's a place to uh, look up your your Twitch TV key. And what you would do is you go into XSplit, go into broadcast, and Twitch, and in here there's an option where you give it your your uh, Twitch TV tag or key. And once you have that in there, you're good to go. Um, I'm kind of leaving out some of the, the more difficult parts of like figuring out... Um, like, well, the hardest part about doing all this actually in my mind is getting your your stream or your recording set up to get as much performance as possible without affecting your gameplay because recording is actually really, really super heavy on your processor. Um, and also if you're streaming to Twitch, the, probably the most important thing you're gonna need is a, a really good upload speed. And that's usually hard to come by. Like most companies give you good download speed, but they don't really care about upload because most people don't upload that often. But if you're doing uh, stuff to Twitch, you need a really good upload speed. So once you get that all figured out, um, you have to play with a ton of settings just to figure out how to get you know the the best performance into your stream without sacrificing uh, your gameplay. You know what I mean? Like getting making stuttering while you're playing the actual game because that's going to show up in your recordings too. So. That's a bit of a juggling act, a lot of research. That was probably the hardest part for me. But uh, removing all that though, getting your stuff to show up on Twitch is actually pretty simple. Like I said, you just need that key. You put it into here. Uh, when you're good to go, you do, you click on this and it starts broadcasting it to, to Twitch so people can see it. Um, so that's it. That's all you have to do to get it on Twitch. But what if you want to put it on YouTube? Well, like me, that's what I want to do. I want to get my stuff on YouTube. I actually still use Twitch as a like a transport vehicle to YouTube 
Um, the reason why I do this is because I don't have like gigs and like gigs and gigs and gigs of recordings on my hard drive. Like there's literally nothing. So like, oh, let me show you real quick. Oh, I got a video going right now. Sorry. Uh, let's go to my dashboard here on Twitch. Go to recorded. Sorry, let's put that back up. Uh, you can see all of your recordings that you did. Like this one I did about an hour ago, playing some Smite. Uh, I have a ton of videos. <laughs> These all show up here after you're recording. It usually takes like five, actually not very long, like usually like a minute before they show up here. Uh, so if you want to push this onto YouTube, you just click this video. You'll see some kind of like, like preview. This is going to preview the video. You don't care about that. You just want to go to upload. And from here, you'll see these two little sliders right here. This tells you the start and end of your video that you want to push to YouTube. Like maybe the first 10 seconds was you farting or I don't know, <laughs> doing whatever. Um, you could put this to be at 10 seconds. You don't want to push that to YouTube. And then the ending, maybe the last five seconds, you made some loud noises. So we'll go to 4103, right like that. All right. Uh, push publish video you give it a title all this stuff doesn't really matter once it goes to YouTube you can change it so we'll just give it this game doesn't matter language doesn't matter the only thing that matters I think is the length which you can't change it, it gets set from uh, the sliders so we'll hit finish should take you to another screen here yep uh, from here you hit upload again which is to ask you if uh, Twitch can access your YouTube account, which you need to if you want to upload to YouTube. So you, you could, like I don't have my stuff here, but normally you give it your username and password. Hit accept. Pulls up another screen. This is like the final uh, title description before you push it to YouTube. I usually make my videos private. Then you push upload to YouTube. Uh, once you do that, you'll see like a confirmation message up here saying, hey, your video is successfully pushed to YouTube. That's only partially true. Um, it just means that it's being processed in YouTube, like so. Like when you go to your YouTube account, uh, where's the home page? You'll have up here, excuse me, um, video manager. Click on that. And you'll see your videos here. Usually they'll say processing. It takes about... I don't know, it depends on the size of your video, somewhere between 30 minutes to an hour to go from Twitch to YouTube. But once it's there, you just edit the tags, uh, whatever you want to do, and then make it public, and it's on YouTube. Uh, none of that was on my hard drive. All the processing and everything else is happening on Twitch and YouTube, which is super awesome. Uh, I like that a lot. Uh, so let's say, though, you want to do local recording, like you don't want to mess with Twitch, you just want to put stuff up on YouTube. Uh, XSplit has you covered there. They have, up here, you saw when I was doing broadcast, they have the local recording. And for this use, the settings are a lot easier because you're not worrying about upload speed and all that, that garbage. Um, you just set a, a location on your hard drive for it to save to. Uh, set the, the video quality and then go local recording. Hit that button and you're good to go. Um, as you'll see right now, I'm doing local recording because I don't want this video, like people to watch this while I'm making it in case I screw up or whatever. But uh, once you're done, you have a, a video on your hard drive just go to uh, da, 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 upload drag that video here uh, you'll see some stuff processing let's see if I can find one real quick uh, let's go to here yeah let's put this one in here just drag and drop like so starts to upload gives you the percentage left you can edit tags and stuff before it finishes uh, probably want to change the title that's not very helpful you can set a custom thumbnail if you want all that good stuff um, we're gonna cancel that out though all right yes I do and that's it your video will show up just like uh, it did the others in here and our video manager it'll show up as processing oh it already is huh so let's go ahead and delete that and that's it that's all there is to it um oh i did want to show you guys the layout like what i'm doing like my my layout for recording it's not that super exciting but whatever let's let's just show you that real quick so if i click this scene right here i can go to a different scene like a different stage and you'll see in a second what'll happen 
I got my webcam. What's up, guys? Um, let me show you my setup real quick here. It's not all that fascinating, but uh, if you're doing commentary, commentary, you are going to need a microphone. I bought myself a, I can't remember the name of this, Audio-Technica mic. It's pretty expensive, uh, really good quality. I mean, I like it a lot. I don't know if you'll need something that fancy. Like a lot of people recommend like a, a Blue Snowball, which is pretty pretty good quality for pretty cheap. Uh, there's some other other headsets that are good that'll work just as well, but I don't know. I just like this the best. Uh, I got myself a mic stand, which is actually probably one of the most important parts. Like you will not believe the kind of background noise you'll get. Uh, having the stand actually removes a lot of that because a lot of it is actually through vibration. Like this thing right here is just a, a slide out like a uh, keyboard mount. But like my computer, like way down here, it vibrates all the way up through this and you would hear it on my recordings as a kind of a weird hum. So getting yourself a really good stand is, is really important. Uh, then you have this pop filter. I don't think it's super useful. I don't really talk like up close to the mic like this, like something crazy. I'm pretty far back when I talk. Um, so I don't really, it's, I don't know how useful that is, but I don't know, it looks cool, right? <laughs> and then also you'll notice I have two videos or two monitors. Uh, the reason for this is when I'm streaming, I want to make sure I have this over here so I can see what I'm streaming while I'm playing on this other monitor right here. That, that, to me, that's super important. So you almost have to have two monitors, I feel like. I mean, you don't have to, but it's, it's good. You want to make sure that what you're seeing on the recording is actually your monitor there. Like, you're not missing something. Like, there's no, like, I don't know, like maybe a webcam. Like, maybe you added a camera here and you didn't realize it, and you're like recording, you don't see the stage, so I think it's useful to have two monitors. Let's remove that. Um, here's my external hard drive over here that I use for uh, doing local recording. It's a three terabyte hard drive, pretty fast. Pretty much does everything I need. Videos are pretty large, so you kinda want a huge hard drive. But uh, that's basically it, guys. Like, I just have this crazy futon chair that I sit on, and then, just to set up here, that's all you need. Now make sure you get a good mic though. That's really important. Uh, that's basically it for as far as hardware goes. So let's switch, switch back here. Um, before I finish guys, I just wanna say thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave some in the comments. I'll try to answer the best of my ability. Um, I don't, Really, I can't really tell you if your computer is good enough to, to stream or to to do local recordings like that stuff. I don't really know. Um, but if you have questions about some of the settings that I skipped over or I don't know, just anything. If I, you know, I, to me this all makes sense. But maybe you're watching it and it, the flow didn't go right. Just just let me know. I'll try to answer the best I can. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, have a good one.